Over here too. Alright. This one too. Yep, plug in that negative. Customs again to pick up the piece before I head down to see the boys at the shop and uh, yeah, let's go see what this looks like. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Hello, sir. What's happening? Out with the old, in with the new. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I like money though. Thank you, sir. What up? That thing. Look at that. That's the original. And then see, it's just a, look how uniform it is. Mm. It's a little bigger, but you can. I think he was testing a couple different sizes. Look. Like, yeah. Different sizes that would look. See, that's, look how uniform it is. It's pretty trick. <laughs> but no, I mean, the reason you use it is so they can do that. Doing, Mr. Rex? Carpet pad and carpet. All right, we have an awesome package here from Speed Hug Gauges out of Utah. They are making the gauges for this awesome AEM project. Yeah, it's all here. All right, what do you think this one is? Let's take a look at it. Go on. I'll bet you. It's a speed. Yeah, speedometer. Dude, check out this custom logo that our guy that does the Revolt merchandise and stuff. Ooh, is that brushed or is you that just it. how it is? It's just, it's printed on. Oh, you're talking about the yeah, bezel? Yeah, the face it's is like slick. That's uh, brushed. It's brushed. Are they all? They are all that, yeah. Get my dirty hands so it's just here. a brushed chrome. Dude, these are slick. Oh, that's how you can tell. It's the heavier box because it's got the GPS antenna. Ooh, so GPS base, it's got turn signals and high beams indicator. Whew. Dude, these so, that they match the original kind of. That's the ticket. Mm -hmm. They match the, like, what it, oh, <laughs> I know this is yours, but. SOC? Yeah. <laughs> Gotta know what your charge is. That's your, your SOC. Dude. What, your battery voltage? Is that what you're worried about? You're worried about your voltage? Oh, I got a coaster. Nice. There you go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, they started including these fun little stickers. You guys recognize that one? You guys watch Loki? <laughs> That's freaking rad. That's a nice touch. Oh, Miss Minutes? Huh? Yeah, Miss Minutes. Minutes. Only it's a uh, Mr. Speed Hut. <laughs> oh, it's Straight a Miss... my head. Uh, Mr. Tack. Old man eyes, couldn't see that. <laughs> right on, cool. So now I have to get these things fitted into this machine, machine spun? Is that what Eddie's calling it? So. Machine engine, oh, hand, hand, engine. Hand, machine hand turn. turn. Engine. Machine turn. But no, it was hand turned by hot nah, dog himself. Hand turn, dude. That's, that's hand true. done. That's what that is. <laughs> cool. So we're gonna kind of mimic that same uh, aesthetic touch of the bezel that it was before. Still have the radio here. Um, we left these filled. This was like what was it? Like the key switch and amp meter. Amp meter. Like Twelve volt amp meter and 
fuel slash oil gauge. All right, cool. Well, we don't have any of those anymore, so we have our hazard button and our parking button, and then we have these gauges that are gonna go right here. Can we Room for one? the radiator. I say we're gonna end up doing the... Uh, I think we're gonna swap sides on the key switch. It used to be on yeah, the Yeah, key side, switch should be over here. It should be back on the driver's yeah. side. Yeah. Can we see one in place? I kind of got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You already took the... Cool. Which one is this? This will sit closest to the driver, aside from our state of charge gauge. Oh, dude, that brush. Ooh. Yes, that's working. That's working really well. Heck yeah. Ugh. There you go, Dan. Thank you. Ooh. It's classy and sporty at the same time. Yeah. I dig it. That's rad. Heck yeah, cool. Well, I have to get these actually in place along with the, there's a back bracket that goes with this that kind of stiffens it up. And then it's got a nice hand bent uh, bezel that goes around the bezel. So, cool, got some assembly to do. So uh, we're working on the uh, core today. I got AM on the phone. Scott, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so that's Scott Borg from AM. He's uh, been very helpful with a lot of the stuff. We're running the new to, uh, AM 275, uh, their VCU. So uh, I'm learning a lot about it. Scott's trying to help me hold my hand through the, uh, the process of getting some of the, uh, the high side drivers fired on the PDU-8. So we're going through the whole entire system right now, giving everything to wake up. Um, I did a firmware flash and upgrade on it the other day. So everything's communicating well. We've made sure all the CAN channels are working well. Now we're going through like every single piece, like contactors, pre-charge, and making sure that everything's firing co correctly and getting power to the parts of the car that we need to get this uh, computer up and running for our MCU to get the wheels turning today. So that's what Scott and I are working on. And hopefully we'll have an update with those front tires turning at the end of today. Fingers crossed. Um, and also, for all you 1936 cord owners out there, this is how you work on them nowadays. You get yourself your laptop and you start programming. Only if you have one of our upgrades. All right. This one too. Yep, plug in that negative. <laughs> I had to be standing in front of the It's the second time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Front wheel drive wheel. Son of a! I did the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> Fast, not gonna spin at all. Sorry. All right, going in drive. They're spinning like they got brakes on. It's going to take so forever to get to with that. Yeah. This one's getting it. That one's seeing it. Oh, it's kind of tight. <laughs> Backwards. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Reverse. <laughs> Maddie, you know, no matter what they say about you, you're doing all right. <laughs> it's a Christmas. Okay. Buy a lotto ticket. Yeah, all right, let's go to Cruising Grand and blow this taco stand. Let's do it. Pee off. Dude. Right. Yeah. Pee off. Let's go to Cruising Grand. Where's the other one? Ooh, 18 Woo! Yes. You did it, boss. Good job, team. Woo. Another successful freaking. Come here, man. Good job. Yeah. Not only the fastest wash, but you do the job right. <laughs> Get it? Everybody, everybody would turn a wrench on that car. Get it. Oh, in. well, I'll be inside. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. All, right. All I did was. All right. <laughs> Good. Dude, Clea, you've been seriously one of the most like amazing people that has set foot in here as an intern. Thanks. We really love what you did. So, as a token of our appreciation, you know, and all the hard labor that you had, there's a $5 gift card to Starbucks for you, dude, because I know how much you love Starbucks, and you know what, I don't want you to get like overexcited because you're still young, 
that'll probably buy you maybe a cup of coffee. So good job, man. We appreciate all your help. And uh, you don't have to tell anybody about this one, though. <laughs> Tell me about our appreciate it. Yeah, so appreciate it. This guy has seriously been, we've had some really good interns, don't get me wrong. But after him, I'm sorry, bar is set so darn high in here. It's the first time we've actually given a scholarship to anybody, helped out, and he's made real parts for us. He's done real stuff here at the office, and dude, you are you got so much ahead of you. You're a kick-ass in life, brother. Yeah, hello. All right, good job, brother. I brought a damn beard. <laughs> <laughs>